everyone, Ali here. Well today I thought I'd do a little bit of a twist and do a take six for an ATC. So I've got my bucket of prompts here and I'm pulling out uh, my prompts. So I've got colour silver or grey, add foil, uh, add sun, sky, clouds, uh, add diamonds, add white marker pen and then I've got a wild card. So I've got my biscuit packet gessoed uh, and it's dry. Now I'm going to use some Semco acrylic paint uh, and in different shades of blue. And I'm going to start from the lightest to the darkest. So I'm just putting a drop of each colour just on the left hand side there. So I'm just brushing that paint across. So I'll just do the lightest colour, then I'll go to the next shade and then I'll do the darkest colour last. I wasn't happy with the brush as such so I'm just going to use my fingers and just add some more paint. So another prompt here is to add silver. So I've got some metallic acrylic paint here and an old toothbrush and I'm just going to flick this onto the page. Um, I find this easier than flicking or um, adding splatters with a paintbrush because I normally get the paint up the wall as well as my table. So I'll just dry that off. So I've just got some aluminium foil that I'm going to use um, and I've just double sided taped it onto some photocopy paper. Now I've got these clouds here and I'm just going to run them through my Sizzix Big Shot. You may need to run this through three or four times to get a nice cut. So after I've um, run it through I just poke all the little bits out uh, just being very very careful. So this is foil, so um, just giving it a bit of uh, love and care. So now I re release the uh, sticky sheet paper off the back and I'm left with the sticky part. So now I've got a lacy cloud that I can stick down on my paper my page. And this is a very intricate die as well so I thought it would be nice just to put uh, something like this on this ATC rather than just a full cloud. And I'll just trim that overhang as well. So I've just die cut another smaller cloud here and just releasing the back and I'm just going to put this on the edge and just cut off the excess but then use that excess on the other side of this card. So another part of this prompt is balloons. So I'm going to uh, die cut these balloons and sun out. Now I'm going to cut four balloons out and two of the balloons will be contrasting paper. So just looking for some nice contrasting paper there. So 
So I'll just glue these uh, die cut balloons down just on some photocopy paper because I want to use the bits from the contrasting paper into it. So I'm just gluing that down with some PVA glue and then I'll just fussy cut them all out when I'm finished. So my next prompt here is to add diamonds and I'm going to use some texture paste and also I have got a diamond stencil here. So I'm just using a credit card, I just find it easier sometimes just to put it on uh, and not make it as big a mess. So I'm just going to let that to dry uh, and I'll be back soon. So I've cut out the ATC, so they now measure 6cm by 9cm and I'm going to use some chipped sapphire distress ink to go around the whole edge of the four cards just to get rid of that white uh, part where I've cut. So I've die cut a sun out as well and I'm just going to cut it into quarters because I'm going to use each quarter on the corner of each ATC card. So now I've got my balloons as well and I'm just going to put them pretty well much in the same place on each card and I'm going to use some foam tape to just add some dimension. So another prompt here is to add white marker pen so I'm just going around the border uh, and just bordering these up with, uh, now this is just a white gel pen. So now I can place my balloons on my ATC card. So, uh, and like I said, I'm just putting them uh, in pretty well much the same place on each ATC card. So I like mounting ATC cards on uh, backing cards. So this is six and a half by nine and a half. And I've got my dot liner, which I'm gonna put on the outside of the back of the card. And I've got a precision bottle here with PVA glue in. So it's uh, gonna give me um, some extra glue there. So I know it's gonna stick and not come apart. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed uh, this process, please give me the thumbs up, share and comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you next time. See ya!